it is very simple. These two wheels across them, they have a bar. And on these two wheels across them, there's another bar. The bar is connected to the wheels and the bar and the wheel spin together. Each bar is called an axle. You drive it into a shop, you put it on a mechanic's hoist, he lifts it into the air, you start the car, you put it in gear, and you floor it. A front wheel drive car, only the front wheels are going to spin, both of them on both sides. On a rear wheel drive car, if you did the same thing, only the rear wheels would spin. Very, very simple, okay? In contrast, an all-wheel drive machine, like this Subaru is, all four wheels would spin. In a rear wheel drive machine, if you're on the ground and you gas it, the rear wheels are gonna spin, which means you're pushing the car from behind. In a front wheel drive car, if you put it in gear and gas it, you're pulling the car and it's a lot more stable as a result. Like you can keep the wheel fairly centered and it'll drive in a straight line. Rear wheel drive, that's not so much the case. If you just put it in gear and floor it, you do what's called a burnout and your back end goes all over the place and you have to scramble with the wheel. So it's important to feed the throttle, okay? So right off the bat, that's one reason you might want to consider rear wheel drive is because it will teach you throttle control, which is a priceless skill, okay? 